What is up, guys? J'espère que vous allez bien, que vous êtes en pleine forme. Bienvenue sur le podcast Conversation Awesome avec Carmackin. A place where we speak Franglish, say the word awesome a lot, mais surtout un endroit d'inspiration et d'éducation pour vous aider à optimiser votre santé globale from the inside out. Mon nom est Claudia, fondatrice de Carmackin, et ma mission avec ce podcast est de t'amener dans un monde de développement personnel, d'optimisation d'habitudes de vie et de découverte so you can unleash your potential and live the life you truly want and deserve. Merci d'être à l'écoute. You're awesome. Have I got a treat for you today? What is up, beautiful soul? J'espère que vous allez bien. Bienvenue sur la nouvelle conversation awesome de la semaine sur le podcast. Welcome if this is your first time on the show. Bienvenue si tu es à l'écoute du podcast à chaque semaine. Aujourd'hui, je reçois mon ami Ali comme invité. The conversation will be in English. Ali du Temple of the Soul. On va vous en parler évidemment en profondeur pendant notre conversation. C'est quoi ça, le Temple of the Soul? Mais le nom peut déjà nous indiquer un peu ce de quoi on va jaser. Ali a une expérience de vie incroyable qui lui a amené énormément de sagesse, de wisdom, de connaissances. Et la conversation d'aujourd'hui va probablement te porter à réfléchir. You're probably gonna shake some beliefs that you have, et c'est tant mieux. On deep dive dans la spiritualité, dans le développement personnel, dans c'est quoi vivre une vie authentique ici dans la société d'aujourd'hui, la société actuelle et tout ce que ça implique. Donc, get ready to get your mind blown. Je vous encourage à aller suivre Ali aussi sur les réseaux sociaux. On va en parler à la fin. Allez voir dans la description du podcast aussi son lien Instagram et son website et surtout, allez visiter le Temple of the Soul. But in the meantime, let's dive into our awesome conversation. All right, I'm sitting here with my friend Ali from Temple of the Soul. Welcome Ali to this awesome conversation. Thank you so much for having me on your show today. Yeah, we're going to have a great conversation. How are you today? I'm very good. It's sunny outside. Uh, can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. <laughs> What a time to be aligned. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I wanted to have you on the podcast to talk about spirituality, healing, leading with love, and staying aligned in this cray-cray society we live in and the uh, you know, realities of this world. How did you fall into spirituality and started to do this as your life and your soul's mission? Well, it started around 2007. Uh, I was going through a lot in my life at that time. Uh, a lot of family problems and... Don't want to get too really deep into that, but it was uh, pain. When you go through pain and suffering and trauma, you gain more wisdom in your and it shocks your reality so your yeah. your perception of reality changes you start seeing things more clearly you gain more wisdom so in 2007 when all those things were happening in my life one day i was just sitting down watching youtube and i was watching the this documentary on zachary stitchin he was the only person who knew how to read the sumerian tablets 6000 years ago you know so he was telling us uh, how the planet was made and who created us and the anunnakis and all that so it sparked that light in my head And ever since then, I just never stopped searching about like astrology, religions, government, sacred geometry, energy, vibration, frequency, mm -hmm. you know, all these things. So, and it led me to where I am today. So 15 years. About 15 years. 15 yeah. years. Are you still as curious to learn and discover and watch documentaries and Every research? Day. Yeah. Every, it's, it, It's, a li it's my lifestyle now. Mm -hmm. Every single thing that I do throughout my day is to better myself, to understand myself more, to, to, you know, to reach the best version of myself, but it requires discipline, yeah. sacrifice, you have to be focused, and you have to be honest with yourself too mm -hmm. on when you're going wrong, on the wrong path or the wrong way. Yeah. So all these things uh, play in the role. Mm -hmm. And now you help people go through that spiritual journey. Yeah. So uh, with all the, the wisdom that I've gained through my life, with all the, the failures and trauma and everything that I've been through, I've learned a lot. And it got me out of the darkness that I was at. And I'm at a place in my life where I, I know I can help a lot of people, mm -hmm. help them find their light, help them reconnect back with themselves on a deep level. 
and there's a way to do it you know they didn't teach us this in school they yeah. never taught us how the subconscious works how your energy works how your body has chakra systems all mm -hmm. of this you know they didn't give us the manual so you you need to do the research on how these things work and i did my research i did yeah. and i still i'm still learning and i know what i have right now is is enough to help a lot of people mm -hmm. find their inner happiness and you know i'm a guide that shows you the door and i give you the tools to go through that door you know because yeah. at the end of the day i can't no one can help you heal you have to heal yourself mm -hmm. so all i do is help people that want to help themselves you know yeah i sure. help you help yourself basically mm -hmm. yeah because we can't change anybody ourselves you have to be willing to change yourself you mentioned discipline habits being focused you know having your goals in mind um there's a lot of distractions in this world there's a lot of overwhelming schedules there's a lot of to-do lists that exactly. we're like i feel like we're a human doing instead of being human well, beings yeah, exactly <laughs> well the, the whole society is programmed that way it's it's designed to keep you constantly distracted from yourself mm -hmm. so you're constantly stressing about work and paying your bills and taking care of your kids and going out and being on your phone it's constantly being distracted mm -hmm. so you never have one second to, to have critical thinking yeah because the instant you start thinking critical that's when you're going to start to see the truth around you which is we are all living in a big prison mm -hmm. and the prison now since 2020 became visible before it was invisible you couldn't you you didn't know that you were in a prison but yeah. 20 when 2020 hit with covid and all that people start realizing what's going on now mm -hmm. they're waking up yeah i feel like one of the first tips that i give my clients when they start doing the work whether that's eating healthier losing weight or taking care of themselves is to slow down and look at their schedule and remove stuff in their schedule exactly. whether that's removing your phone one hour away or like one hour a day you know um is that something that you work on as well with yeah. clients to be in the present moment yeah. slow down be in stillness exactly. meditation so I, i tell them at least once a day add one new good routine something positive to your routine every day add, just add one mm -hmm. or just add it for the week every day do that yeah and next week add something else Like if you sleep at midnight, sleep at 11, mm -hmm. wake up at seven, you know, Yeah. get used to that and then start sleeping maybe at 10 because the, if you start sleeping with the sun cycle, mm -hmm. your body gets into a, what is that called again? The circa a circadian, circadian rhythm, uh, rhythm with rhythm, earth. Yeah. So if you start sleeping early and waking up early, you're going to start seeing how your energy is going to change. Mm -hmm. You're going to start feeling a lot more positive. Uh, drinking two to three liters of water a day. Yeah. Very important meditating in the morning and at night why these two times of the day because when you wake up your brain is in a theta frequency because mm -hmm. we have five different brain waves alpha beta data delta gamma and when you're in the theta brain wave that's when you, you can program the subconscious quicker because yeah. you're in a deep state of meditation deep relaxation so the mind is it's easier to program it so you have about 30 to 45 minutes as you wake up to go do your morning affirmations mm -hmm. and 30 to 45 minutes before you go to bed, it's good to go do your night meditation, yeah. which is concentrating on your breathing, really try to see your thoughts as clouds just moving to clear them all. Mm -hmm. you know, every single day doing this, eventually you're going to become very good at it because yeah. meditation is like a, a training. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a practice. A, it's a practice. You got to practice it's every day. It's a muscle day. that you you can you you make it get stronger day by day by day, but it's consistency. It, mm -hmm. No matter what, you got to be consistent. And repetition. Repetition is the key to anything you want to become. Any look at that, look at look at the sports. Mm -hmm. They practice. They yeah. practice the same thing every single day until they perfected it. Until they become the best at it. Mm -hmm. The same thing with everything else in your life. Yeah. Do you add in visualization as well within your morning routine and night routine? Well, I have my vision board. Uh, I, I do a lot. I've been doing this for a long time, so I. I've, I've done my vision boards. I've done mm -hmm. this thing called the 1421 rule. Okay. Which is, uh, somebody taught me this like in 2010. So basically it's for 14 days, you write something in the morning and at night, 21 times in the morning, 21 times at night. Okay. With a blue the pen. same thing. The same thing. So let me give you an example. I now have my dream body. Mm -hmm. I now you have to always say it as in the present moment that you have it right because that's how the subconscious works it's it literally has, like right now right yeah now. so I now have my perfect body 
you repeat that, you write that, that 21 times in the morning, 21 times at night for 14, 14 days. days. 14 days is the seed that gets implanted into your subconscious mm -hmm. and with a blue pen because blue is the color that gets absorbed into your subconscious quick. That's why, you know, they use Bluetooth. Yeah. Like Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, makes sense. Color blue absorbs. So what if, if you write it with a blue pen and you could put some meditation music in the background to amplify it. Mm -hmm. So that's another technique that I was using. And I have like books of things that I wrote. <laughs> everything came came to life. And yeah. Everything, ha it, it happened. So I tested all these, these techniques of manifestation. Mm -hmm. And... Slowly, slowly, I'm like, oh my god, this is all working. This is all true. Yeah. We, 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 our brain is like a computer. You can program it through repetition and uh, specific techniques to use. You can use a vision board. You can write things down to program mm -hmm. your mind. But every single day, repetition. visualize things in your in your meditation. You know, and so the more I was doing it, the more I was manifesting, and then it just builds after that. Your, mm -hmm. your belief, you're in a momentum. Yeah, yeah, you're in a momentum, but your belief towards what you're doing increases like it's undeniable after mm -hmm. so that's where i'm at now I, like no one can tell me that this is not how it works this is how it works at 100 percent, this is what i believe yeah. in yeah very like, cool and if you look at all the billionaires of the world and uh, the, the most successful people they know these secrets they all have vision boards they all mm -hmm. wake up early in early the absolutely they all meditate mm -hmm. so yeah would you say that having clarity on what we want to achieve or attract in our life is important of course, you have to be specific on yeah. what you want because the universe will give you whatever you want. But the more specific you are on what you want, the better chances you have of getting that. Yeah, for sure. In one of my spiritual trainings with one of my good friends, um, she she taught us how to speak to the universe like the universe was like five or six years old or like a puppy mm -hmm. and like a very specific Exactly. You know, like demands or, or questions. It gives you whatever or... you want, good mm -hmm. or bad, because you're going to learn from what you wanted. Yeah. So if you, because a lot of people, you know, also, they don't realize this is another very important thing that words, your actual words that you speak are spells. Mm -hmm. When you're writing something in the English language, you're spelling it. The definition of a spell is when you cast a spell on someone. Yeah. So the word definition is extremely important because that's what you're going to manifest into your reality. Like example, some people will say, I always have bad luck. Mm -hmm. You will to, always have bad, bad luck. <laughs> exactly. I always have good luck. You have to, your def, the way you define your words are the key. Mm -hmm. So I'm always good. I'm always happy. I'm always healthy. I am fearless. I am brave. You know, just these, always say the positive mm -hmm. of version of what it is you want to say. Yeah. Because wherever you put your attention on will amplify or whatever you say will happen. Absolutely. So abracadabra is a Hebrew word. Which means, as I speak, I create. Mm. So all these things. That's where it comes from, yeah. Interesting. We are all magicians. We are. We're so much more powerful than we mm -hmm. even can comprehend, right? But They've yeah. dumbed us down from, a, from hundreds of years ago to where we are now. They've slowly, slowly, slowly programmed us and lied to us about our history and about everything. About our bodies and the way our energy works. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why we're living in a society now where it's 98% of the population is lost from the self. So people always say, uh, how are we going to change this world? Yeah. That's not how you're going to change the world. The only way that we're going to be able to change this world is if each individual changes themselves. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson said, if you want to change the world, change the man in the mirror. You're the only one that you have to change for your world to change. So if mm -hmm. everybody does the work for themselves, figure out who they are, gets back their power, the people controlling the system lose power over us because we all woke up. Mm -hmm. But until people don't wake up, unfortunately, we're going to keep being manipulated. And sick and unhappy okay. and unfulfilled and having all these sorts of disease, mental health and like all the because crisis we're in right since now. Since 2020, you see, they locked everybody down. They kept everybody at home. They left all the fast food, junk food open, mm -hmm. the alcohol, SAQ open, the... What is the LC, LQ, you see the weed, weed shop? Yeah, uh, <laughs> let's call it the weed shop. <laughs> yeah, the weed shop. Open, so, yeah. and then they're feeding you fear through the media, you know, so it's constantly bombarding you with negativity, with sex, drugs, alcohol, violence, mm -hmm. put it, they're constantly bombarding that in our subconscious, which lowers your vibration, lowers your frequency. Because literally, we're all light beings, all of us. Mm -hmm. The root of what we are is light and yeah, love. It's source energy. It's source pure love. Pure, yeah. pure, 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 pure love. Mm -hmm. So the only way to get back to it's God... To unlearn all unlearn of that. Unlearn everything and become love yourself. Yeah. That's the only way. 
become love and you're going to be connected back with God, with your higher self, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. Mm -hmm. But God is within each and every one of us. It's everywhere. And this is something we hear a lot. Everything is energy and everything has a vibration. So for somebody listening who's never really heard that or can't really comprehend what that means, everything's energy, everything's vibration. Well, How just, would you explain that? Well, the simple way of saying, of, of looking at things, every, you know, they said first there was atom. Mm -hmm. okay? But it's not atom, it's atom. First there was atom. Everything is made out of atoms. Yeah. And if you know what's inside the atom... Uh, then you're going to start to understand what, what we mean by energy vibration frequency because the atom itself is 99.99999% energy vibration frequency. Mm. So are we. Yeah. We are literally energetic beings. Everything that we see physical around us is 0.00001% of reality. Mm -hmm. So for people that don't understand that, just go back. Everything is made out of atoms. Everything is energy vibration frequency. Nikola Tesla said it. Yeah. You want to know the secrets to the universe, think in terms of energy vibration frequency. Mm -hmm. How are we speaking? It's through a frequency. It's through a vibration. Yeah. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. <laughs> Radio stations. Yeah. Exactly. You so don't see it, but it's there. We feel it. Feel it. Everything. Yeah. What does um, heavy energy feel like for you? When what are you usually doing or not doing in your life, or around or not around? Um, somebody's like, oh, like I go into this this room and the energy is just heavy. Just so we can give some examples for people to feel the difference. Well. As soon as you recognize that the energy is heavy, what you have to do is don't forget, we're magicians. Mm -hmm. So this energy does not bother me. Yeah. My energy is protected. I release all energy I that release, does not belong to me. Exactly. That's one of my favorite mantras. Exactly. <laughs> so you can clean yourself with your thoughts and words. Mm -hmm. And you got to believe in what you're saying. If you believe somebody else's energy is stronger than yours and that could affect you, then you're creating even that yeah. for yourself. Yeah. You're believing in that. Mm -hmm. If you think somebody put a spell on you, somebody did a voodoo on you, whatever, you're believing in that, yeah. so it will happen to you. Mm -hmm. But when you say, no, no one can touch me, I'm protected by the source of all things, mm -hmm. I'm always good, I'm always healthy, my energy is always safe. Yeah, I'm protected, that's, I'm supported. That's exactly yeah. what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because a lot of people will complain that, oh, I have this colleague at work, like she's always in a bad mood and then it affects my mood. Or like whenever I go see my family, the energy is low and heavy. Well, you can show up to a family meeting or to your workplace, like surrounded by like bright light and not let that affect you. Exactly. And, and another thing I tell people is that the way you should see things, in my opinion, is each, well, it's, it's actually the truth. If you look at it, every individual that comes into your life comes for a reason mm -hmm. and everybody that comes that triggers you, somebody could come into your life and bring hate towards like inside of you or jealousy or resentment or anger they're just there to remind you you still have that inside of you that you need to work on because mm -hmm. you're the one that's feeling the hate you're the one that's feeling the anger so mm -hmm. thank them for reminding mm -hmm. you that you're still weak in that part of yourself yeah so heal yourself so if you have a colog that's annoying see what is why is he annoying what is that feeling that he's bringing out of me mm -hmm. So that colog in reality is there to make you become better, yeah. a better version of yourself. Yeah. So that's why I tell people, like, don't let other people get offended. Look at it in a positive way. Yeah, say thank you. Thank, I thank got you. shit to sure, work on yeah. now. Thanks. I didn't know I'm impatient. I didn't know I, I'm impulsive. I didn't know I, like, you know, like, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, because everything just is. And that's something that I always say. Everything just is. Exactly. And as human beings, we put our sungla or sunglasses or glasses on. And based on like our programming, our perception, our triggers, our healing, exactly. the journey will assess and will judge a situation or a person based on our glasses that we're wearing. Exactly. But everything just is. You can have the exact same person saying the exact same thing, but you and I are going to react differently yeah. based on these glasses yeah. that are like... But that's why the more you work on yourself, the more you're honest with yourself... Mm -hmm. Those glasses are going to start becoming a lot more clearer for you. Yeah. You're going to start seeing more of the truth. So you're, the more your vibration increases, the more of reality you see, the better you see reality. Mm -hmm. And the more you can create your own exactly. reality. Exactly. Yeah, or co-create reality. Co -create, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. What is uh, your definition of spirituality? Well, the definition of spirituality for me is somebody that really lives a lifestyle that allows them to be their best version of themselves, the one that's connected to their, to their soul, the one that has, that's 
eating healthy, the one that's putting in the work mm -hmm. to, you know, become a better human being. Yeah. And that's, that's just, it's the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You can tell by someone's lifestyle if they're spiritual or not. You know? And when you're spiritual, it's because you, uh, you're, you're starting to understand how things work. You're starting to really realize like it's all about love. It's all about self-care. It's all mm -hmm. about respect. Service. Service to others. To yeah. other greater things and to serve others and to, to, to help the world become a better place. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I think we all need that in our life now. Is uh, We need all to be happy and yeah. free and healthy. 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 Health is number one. Because mm -hmm. you can have all the money in the world, but if you're not healthy, you can't enjoy nothing. Yeah. Mentally and physically healthy. Exactly. And I tell all those people, stop putting so much value on materialistic objects. We don't even take our own bodies with us when we die. Mm -hmm. So why are you killing yourself for this money, for this car, for this house, yeah. when you're not even going to take it with you at the end? It's mm -hmm. useless. Mm -hmm. The only thing that you're going to carry with you is what you have inside. The energy yeah. that you've built inside of you. Mm -hmm. And the memories that you've created for yourself. That's why I say create good memories. You know, always try to have new memories, new moments in your life. Because mm -hmm. even when they say when you die, you, the, it's the memories that come right before you die. You know, your family, the people yeah, yeah, you yeah. love. So just have good memories within yourself, in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read a book uh, years ago. It was about um, the lesson. So this guy interviewed like five or 6,000 older people, like in their 70s, 80s, 90s, and asking questions. And then he kind of like summarized everything into different like categories of lessons. And nobody said like, I wish I had worked harder or I wish I had spent less time with my family or I wish I was more on my phone. I mean, there was probably no phones and like no social media back in their days. Yeah. But, but you see that, like you said, like people are in deathbed or like at the end of the years, like what they regret, what they wish they had done more of or, exactly. and it's never about the material stuff. And yet yeah. in the society we live in. Because another thing is, People have to recognize who our enemy is, what we're up against. Mm -hmm. Okay, until they don't realize that, they're gonna think everything is normal. Yeah. They don't realize that we're con constantly being bombarded with fake news, fake everything, negativity, violence. All these things mm -hmm. to is to really, really lower you. Yeah, lower your vibration, and then the lower vibration you are, the less information that there is down there, and you're e you're easily controllable mm -hmm. through fear. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, all well, part of a bigger agenda. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know, everything is necessary. Everything mm -hmm. is uh, contrast. Uh, yeah. Dark, light. You know, We're living in a reality of it's duality here. Yeah. Good, bad, love, hate. You know, it's 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 the duality of thing, the yin and yang, mm -hmm. feminine, masculine, mm -hmm. healthy, unhealthy. Exactly. Female, yeah, male. Yeah, it's very interesting. What would you say are some of the first steps that you took to start taking care of yourself back in 2007? You mentioned like morning routine, meditation, yeah. like so are there any other tips or practices that was well, super I helpful? Well, I started reading about like the chakras, mm -hmm. understanding what chakras are, understanding your third eye, what it does, what it represents. Do you want to explain quickly like chakras, well, what they chakra, are or it, well, we main have ones? The seven main chakras, the root, the sacral, the solar, the heart, the throat, the third eye. And the crown. Mm -hmm. So they're each associated. That, well, chakra means like wheel, energy. Mm -hmm. like, so each chakra governs different organs of the body, different parts of the body. Uh, so when I start understanding about that, I'm like, oh, wow, okay. So how do you heal the root? You know, yeah. the root is associated with like uh, security. When you, you know, Let's say you, you were brought up in a family that you had lack of money or... You had a lot of fear within yourself. And mm -hmm. all these little traumas that you could have had as a, as a kid, it yeah. affects the root. Then your sacral too is, uh, is linked to um, inner child wounds, they say. It's from the sacral. Um, if you had bad relationships also, I believe it damages the sacral because that's your sexual energy. Mm -hmm. So if you're lacking creativity and energy yeah. and all that, your sacral is most likely damaged, you know? Solar plex is uh, is linked to the self, the self yeah, personal power, personal power, fearlessness. You know all the mm -hmm. the heart is the, the heart. The heart, <laughs> love. Throat represents your when you speak your truth. If you're somebody that lies and that manipulates, mm -hmm. your throat will be blocked. And a lot of these people usually get sore throats. They have yeah. tonsil problems. They mm -hmm. have a lot of throat problems because their body's telling you like stop. Yeah. It's warning signs that your body's giving you, like, 
if you're having always throat problems, it's like there's something that you're doing that's wrong here. Mm -hmm. The vibration of it is you're probably lying too much. Or, yeah. you know? or not speaking your truth. Or not or, speaking your truth. you know, being a people pleaser and not exactly. speaking your true uh, authentic self. Yeah. Then you have your third eye. So when I first started, I really visual, I really concentrated on the third eye in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's like your GPS. It's yeah. it's it's how you could see clearly through reality. It's your imagination. It's so I real from all the research and studies that I've been doing. Uh, they were saying that in the documentaries that I watched, as the age of uh, when you reach the age of 12, 13, your pineal gland, mm -hmm. that's what it's called, your pineal gland, yeah. it's calcified. It gets completely calcified because of the fluoride in our toothpaste and in our water, mm. all the food, the processed food, the GMO, all the toxins and metals. So that calcifies your pineal gland. So once your third eye is blocked, like yeah. you're disconnected from yourself. So you're so easy to control mm -hmm. after that. So I start reading researching on the product, natural products, on how to decalcify it. Interesting. So there was like all these products that I was taking for years, like ashwagandha, mm -hmm. uh, liquid iodine, um, boron, uh, haritaki, uh, monatomic gold, like so a whole bunch of different stuff. And I start seeing the changes. My dreams were getting more vivid. Yeah. I was, I was a lot more like things were a lot more clear to me. They were getting, but I put in the work. It was every yeah. single day I was taking those products consistently. Mm -hmm. I start eating better. You know, I start, mm -hmm. I, I start reading about food, what food does to you because 80% of how you are is what you eat. For sure. So extremely important. The more food that is alive that you eat, the more alive you're going to feel like fruits, veggies, yeah. salads, you know, all these things. The more dead food you're going to have, processed food, like all these things, mm -hmm. the more dead energy you're going to have. Yeah. Most of what we eat, it's not even food. It's, it's like not. science engineering projects to Crazy. make us addicted and sick. And yeah, it's... People should really look at the ingredients behind mm -hmm. what they buy. And when yeah. you, it's like, if you look at most of the things, you might think it's like uh, something simple. Like let's say uh, a hot sauce. Yeah. Go look at the ingredients. There's like 20 things in there that you're like, if you Google, you're like, what yeah. the hell? You can't even pronounce them. You can't even pronounce them. Yeah. It's like, first of all, if you can't pronounce it, you know it's not good for you. Exactly. Like, what is that? If the list is 20 uh, ingredients long too, like... Even the organics places, they say, oh, it's our organic food. It's not. It's, mm -hmm. They're lying to us. Go look at the... Always look at the ingredients. Yes. Be careful. Like, pay attention to what you put in your temple. Mm -hmm. Your body is your temple. Yeah. So if you're, on, you're not aware of what you're putting in it then you're not aware of why you're feeling the way you are because mm -hmm. you're eating garbage food yeah. you're eating food that has a lot of metals and pesticides and toxins in it mm -hmm. so yeah. the cleaner you eat the more water you drink the more quality water quality too. water yeah. extremely important we live in Canada our water is good um, uh, well <laughs> it's not that simple I, I recommend getting either um, water distiller machine yeah or, uh, filters uh, high quality filters high quality filters yeah. or the kanjan water mm -hmm. machine which cleans the water to like 9.5 ph so it's very very good i have both of them mm -hmm. i do two weeks of water distilled and two weeks of the other water mm -hmm. so. yeah but it's the basic things that are so key and so important and that i, I don't have the, the exact number of people but like most of the people don't even do consistently yeah that's drinking cool. water eating fruits and vegetables and like meditating going to bed at a decent hour it's not that complicated, exactly. right? And we're, yeah, like spiritually, that spirituality now, like it's mainstream on social media. Everybody's a spiritual guru or coach. So everybody wants to ascend. Everybody wants to like connect to like God and like all do like do all these ceremonies. But at the end of the day, if you're not doing the practices exactly. every week, I'm happy you mentioned you're putting a plaster on sort of bobo, let's say, like you're not exactly. going at the root of who do you need to become and who, who are you to yes you know, grow and lead with love, but yeah. It's, uh, it's good that you said that because I've been seeing a lot of these spiritual so-called healers, mm -hmm. but when you look at them, they need the healing the most. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the person knows how to use the sound bowls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is good. They have a talent in that field, but what about all the other aspects of your life? Mm -hmm. You're trying to help people heal and you're guiding them when you're already stuck yourself. You're filled with like anger in you. Yeah. And can't even hold can't even... safe space. Exactly. So that's why I tell people that you want to become spiritual. You want to do spiritual healing for people. You want to 
you need to reach a certain level in your life where mm-hmm. you know that you're good and that you're healed enough yeah. to be able to help others mm-hmm. and be honest with yourself because you're yeah. going around and you don't want to give misinformation to people and mm-hmm. guide them the wrong way yeah and, it can you know, be dangerous just like any nutrition or fitness exactly. influencers or professionals like let me show my ass on instagram and then call me for a detox program and then the person goes into like liver shock because clearly exactly. that was unhealthy they like know they went to colombia and got an ass uh, <laughs> thing you know yeah <laughs> oh man again eh? fake world yeah, that's it so so we talk about like thir- the third eye just so we don't forget about the chakras yeah. and then we have the crown the so let's crown yeah go back to the chakras to uh the source the and, source yeah. your higher self mm-hmm. your angels your spiritual guides yeah. your intuition and all yeah. that so i started reading and researching and then once i start cleaning my third eye and i start noticing it mm-hmm. then i start channeling yeah what is channeling for somebody who's never heard of this word before it's basically you're receiving information from your higher self mm-hmm. or from whatever you want to call it. But then out of nowhere, this information comes and yeah. you know that that's, oh, I'm channeling this. Like, what is this? I call them downloads. Downloads. <laughs> like a hit, like, oh. Yeah. So literally all these, because I, so, I was so obsessed with becoming the best version of myself and like to tap into my energy because mm-hmm. our body has 35 billion or trillion cells. Yeah. Okay? And each cell has a voltage to it at 0.15 millivolts of electricity, mm. approximately. So if you multiply that by 35 billion, yeah. you're, it's we're, a lot of each energy. Each human being is like a <laughs> nuclear like bomb, bomb, bomb like within ourselves. <laughs> yeah. So then I start researching about crystal energy and mm-hmm. how, how crystals affect your body, how it charges you and light therapy. And, you know, it was literally channeling in, like yeah. inf- informations were coming to me. And I would Google it and then I would put like crystal healing. And then it guided me to the, the crystal bed I have now, mm-hmm. which is the quantum resonance crystal healing bed. So I did a research on that. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. And, and then I, so all these things that I'm doing now for people, I was doing it on myself for years. Mm-hmm. And I never thought I'm going to do it for people. These were the things that I like to do. I like to like, you know, every day I, I wanted to, improve my meditation I'm like okay, I'm meditating like this now now I'm going to get the quantum resonance crystal healing bed yeah. and align the crystals on my uh, on my chakras and have the binaural beats and you know mm-hmm. and then I got the the Lucia light then the pyramid I used to sleep under a pyramid for three years yeah you told me that because I understood what the energy of the pyramid does mm-hmm. and it's incredible yeah no you got to do the work on yourself first yeah. that's how you change the world and I love the expression like the ripple effect that's actually my mission statement like you work on yourself and this creates a ripple effect I'm going to help my client and then this client exactly. by feeling better working on herself it's going to create a ripple effect on her kids or her exactly. husband or her friends and that is literally how you change the world yeah. but it starts from you you, you. and we're, we're all connected Let's unpack that statement too, right? Like this is something we hear about. We're all connected. We're all one. It's all about love. How would you describe that, that feeling or that statement? And when did it click in your soul? Because it's not really something that you cover in with the mind. <laughs> when did it click in your soul to really feel that, that interconnectedness and that oneness? So... Tough question here, but... Uh. <laughs> no, it's actually a good question. The, the, when I really, really felt that, what you just said, was my first ayahuasca ceremony. Mm. I felt that in my first mushroom ceremony, oh, so... Yeah, so yeah. ayahuasca was... Because I've never taken any drugs in my life. I never Same. took any psych, psychedelics or anything. And so when I went to Costa Rica with my friend, I wanted to do ayahuasca. It was calling me, but I didn't know what DMT was. I didn't know really the effects of it because I never took it. Yeah. And oh my God, when I took that... <laughs> The, 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 the what a first, journey, eh? Oh my God. <laughs> but it showed me the deepest meaning of what love is mm-hmm. and how we are all one consciousness. Yeah. We are all made from the same source energy. We are all one. There is no separation. There is no mm-hmm. time. There is, time is an illusion. We're yes. all interconnected on the deepest level that anyone could ever imagine. Mm-hmm. And the, the root of everything, the bridge that connects everything together, even from the people that passed away in our lives, is what? Is love. Mm -hmm. And there was moments in the ceremony in the beginning where I was literally having a bad trip for the first 15, 20 minutes because I'm like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. And I was telling the shaman, I'm like, is this part of the ceremony? He was like, shh, relax. Yes, surrender. I thought I was stuck in an eternal realm of repetition. Mm, Stuck in a loop. Loop, and my stay worked 
keeping my soul there. Like they were taking my soul away from me. And at that moment, I went back in my heart center. I'm like, no, I, I uh, feel, I'm filled with love. God is always with me. Mm -hmm. And boom, I got out of it. Yeah. Then the it's journey crazy, started. Eh? I started talking to God. And yeah. So it showed me that love gets you out of any situation. Mm -hmm. The worst situation, just go back in your heart center. Feel the love in your heart. Feel that you're protected. And that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You will be protected. Uh, thank you for sharing that. It was similar for me in my first mushroom ceremony. And still to this day, I can't really use words to explain what I felt. But feeling that oneness and that love, I cried because it was so pure and so beautiful. And just saying it now, like I have goosebumps, you know, like it was just... And you can't unsee that. You can't yeah. unfeel that. So when you go out of your trip and then you go into your integration, because obviously you have to keep doing the yeah. practices and using the tools and the strategies and changing the habits based on what you just experienced through a mushroom ceremony or ayahuasca. So going back to this 3D human life, but having felt that and seen that, it changes you forever, forever. forever. And that's why my mantra for 2021 was lead with love. So whenever I was faced with um, a trigger or somebody that I don't really agree with or somebody that had a heavier energy or a challenge in my business, it was just like, no, like lead with love. Yeah. Just, just lead, lead just be love. love nothing to do with like falling in love and like love at first sight no it's just pure love, pure love. energy yeah, yeah. You, you have to become love and you're gonna also once you start becoming love you're gonna attract people that are on that vibration mm -hmm. and there's another thing that it's good that you said that you made me think of something for people that are always you know attracting the wrong person in their life or whatever it is um, i always tell these people Work on yourself, heal yourself, mm -hmm. heal yourself from past relationships. Yep. Because once you work on yourself and you actually heal yourself, you're going to attract someone that has the same vibration mm -hmm. as you. So you're going to attract somebody that th did the work on themselves yep. and that loves themselves and that's okay to be alone, you know? Mm -hmm. That's happy to be alone yep. and that'll appreciate you when mm -hmm. you're together. Because if you're not healed and you still have anger from the last boyfriend, resentment, resentment you're going to bring that. Yeah. You're going to bring another guy. That has that's gonna teach you another lesson of that. Mm -hmm. So that's why you gotta just after a relationship, whatever it is, work on yourself. Give yourself time, space, heal yourself yeah. space, and then allow somebody else to come into your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody that's at your vibration, mm -hmm. your new vibration because exactly. you did the work on yourself. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we tend to look outside of ourselves for so many things. Look outside of ourselves to fix our problems, outside of ourselves to get some answers, outside of ourselves for somebody to complete us, you know, and fulfill these desires that we have. But it's all it's all inside. It's always <laughs> inside. That's why from all the researches that I've done in my life on religion, government, astrology, and all of it, at the end of it, it was like, okay, but wait, this is all theories. But what it brought me back to was the self. Mm -hmm. that's why I started concentrating on the self because this is the only real thing that we have it's us, it's our bodies, it's our temple so I started learning about how it works and I started putting in the work to see like okay how is this going to change me mm -hmm. and I did it consistently until this day and for the rest of my life because that's the promise I made with me and God is like this mm -hmm. is and it's a, it's a journey when we talk about like healing right and about like higher selves and connecting back like there's no end destination even when our physical body is done. Yeah. <laughs> Her soul moves on to the next phase yes, of yes. whatever the soul you is meant to do. dream to another. Exactly. It's all a dream. When you're sleeping, you're, you're in a spiritual world. When you're awake, you're in the material world. Mm -hmm. It's all a dream. And remember yeah. when you were growing up, they're like, uh, what do you dream to be? Because yeah. <laughs> it's all a dream. Yeah. And there's way, rules and laws to follow in this material reality mm -hmm. to, to create the dream you want. Yeah. And it's by taking care of the temple. It's by cleaning it. Mm -hmm. The cleaner your temple is, the cleaner your life is, the better your life is. Yeah, yeah, because you're going to come back and live the same life and meet the same kind of people and learn the same lesson. Exactly. Or not learn the lesson and then come back again. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know about you, but after this life, like I'm ready for uh, somewhere else. Let's go to another universe. <laughs> Eject, <laughs> done with Earth. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What would you say to people who are hearing all of this and they're like, well, the excuses or the fears come up, right? So... I don't have time, I have to take care of my kids, I don't know where to start, uh, it's scary for me to go on a healing journey, I don't want to like pull up some repressed emotions. So people who have, or some of your clients who are resistant to starting working on themselves or having this 
for a spiritual awakening or that healing journey? Um, any tips or any things that you tell them to... Well, I always tell them in the beginning, it might be uncomfortable because to heal, the fears and the traumas and the pain will come to surface. So yes. you're going to have to see it in order to let it go. Mm -hmm. Because all these emotions we've kept in ourselves uh, since kids, it it's built in us. It's a, yeah. we, we put it in our subconscious, it's still there. Mm -hmm. So the healing journey in the beginning won't be easy. Yeah, you know, it's, it's called gonna, the work for it, a reason. <laughs> yeah, you got to put in the work and you have to un put it, It's because it's all in the mind. It's a mindset. So if you tell your mind, okay, I am ready to face my demons, I'm ready mm -hmm. to face my fears, I'm ready to let it go and become better. Yeah. And one thing I tell people also is accepting. You have to accept mm -hmm. what happened into your life. Forgiveness Forever. to forgiveness mm -hmm. and acceptance because once you do that you give yourself spiritual liberation yeah. You liberate yourself and for all the people that say oh, I don't have time. I don't have this everybody has time it's Time if, is an illusion time anyway. Is an illusion. It's if you want to put it into your daily mm -hmm. life if People have an hour sometimes they're on their phone that yeah. hour you could have done something good for yourself You could have went for a 30 minute walk mm -hmm. you, you could have you know like Meditated you yeah. could have read a book Mm -hmm. prep some food for tomorrow and yeah exactly yeah i find um and that's what i i get my clients to shift in the beginning of the journey is to uh, see time management more as energy management because i tell them like you have time and some of my clients i make them do a time audit like write down everything that you do from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed and let's see how much time is actually productive and how much time you're wasting and even I do, I do this myself a couple of times a year just to say, like, where am I wasting time, you know? And so we realize that it's not a matter of having or not having time. It's a matter of like where we spend our energy and not having the energy exactly. to do what we would like to do. And so like, you know? exactly. It's like you don't feel like it. You have time to go for a walk or do a workout because that time you're watching Netflix for like the third episode. So the time is there. You just don't have the physical or the mental or the spiritual energy to step into action because watching Netflix or being on Facebook is easier Easy. and it's more comfortable. And the only way to do that, to get out of that, it's by setting yourself goals. Yes. If you don't have goals, you have no motivation. Mm -hmm. If you have no motivation, you can sit down and watch Netflix and do yeah. nothing with your life. So set yourself goals. Yeah. That will be a motivation. Do something that excites you. Mm -hmm. Something that you like. Because if you're doing something that you like, it's going to work amazing and it's good you're gonna love it but a lot of people a lot like 98 percent, 97 percent of the population are doing shit they don't like mm -hmm. yeah every day they wake up and they yep they dread the monday mornings they can't wait for the friday four o'clock and they're their two weeks vacation That's it. yeah it's it's sad it's it's That's sad but it, there's a way out and like conversations like this will help people you know have yeah. some seeds getting planted in their in their brains those, and their soul and that it's gonna resonate with you know because they're the 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 book Alchemist, I don't know if you ever read Yeah, of course. So there's that part where it said, uh, when the student is ready, the master, the master appears. appears. Yeah. It's literally that. When people are ready to do the change, mm -hmm. things are going to come to you. Yeah. That, that are going to help you change. Because mm -hmm. that's what you want. You're attracting that. You're thinking of it, and then mm, you're ready. Mm -hmm. Same thing for my the, the things that I do here on my, for my business. Yeah, know? let's talk about that. You have Temple of the Soul, which yeah. is uh, life-changing for a lot of people, including myself. So... How did, did it come about and like how, what are you doing? You, you talked about the lamp, the pyramid, yeah. so. So uh, right now, basically what I'm offering is two different services. My, my mission was, is to open a huge center where I have five, six, seven different rooms with different machines doing different treatments to your body, all mm -hmm. with energy, vibration, frequency, light therapy, yeah. crystals, binaural beats. So right now what I have is the quantum resonance crystal healing bed. Uh, and basically it's, seven crystals cut in vocal cut shapes we call it and it's connected to a frequency generator mm -hmm. and the frequency generator i usually i pick the frequency that i wanted to come down into the crystals right and usually i go with 528 because 528 is known to be frequency the miracle love to and love yeah. and the frequency that opens the heart mm -hmm. and heart is the key yeah and then on and you're lying down on a massage table mm -hmm. And on top of it, there's crystals, amethyst and tourmaline. Amethyst and tourmaline are very good to detox the body. Yeah. And it has also a, a magnets on the bed, which helps your blood circulate better. If you have any inflammation, it's going to reduce it. If you mm -hmm. have any blood clots, it's going to open it up. If you have any muscle pain or joint yeah. stiffness, it 
It helps you reduce the pain. It opens your lungs up and allows you to, to for your body to receive more oxygen. It, it also creates uh, ions and photons mm -hmm. frequencies, which is the same thing when you get when you're in nature or when you're at the beach. And you have uh, frequency generators under the bed, so the bed the bed is vibrating yeah. at a specific frequency with the music that I pick. So the bed allows your body to enter homeostasis. Mm -hmm. And you know what homeostasis yeah. is. Basically when your body's in neutral. Yeah, neutral balance. Exactly. So the bed <clears throat> within the first minute or two, it gets you into that state. Because it's very hard for the body to get to that level. Mm -hmm. And then you said we would have to meditate for like seven years straight yeah, to get exactly. in that state. Exactly. Yeah. So this bed really allows you to get into that state quickly. And when your body and your cells are all relaxed and neutral, that's when it opens up like a flower, mm -hmm. basically, and receives the scalar energy coming from the crystals. So, and you have binaural beats, which calms the left side of your brain and the right side of your mm -hmm. brain. So that's one of the things. Uh, and then I have the Lucia light, which is a lucid light stimulator. It's invented by two neurologists in Austria. Uh, one of the neurologists at five years old had a near-death experience. Mm, five years old? Yeah. Wow. And he became obsessed with that phenomenon since he was five. So for wow. 30 years, he researched around the world on all the people that had near-death experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, he found two things in common. One, their fear of dying went away. Mm -hmm. And two, their perception of reality changed in a very positive way. Interesting. And this light targets that same part of the brain where it helps you change your perception of reality in a more positive way. It helps to get rid of anxiety, stress, depression, insomnia. Mm -hmm. It helps you get into the eternal realm of now. Yeah, I was just going to say, back in the present moment. Because yeah. the past is gone, the future is not here. All we have is the present moment. Mm -hmm. And why do you think they call it the present moment? Yeah. Because it's a, it's gift. a gift. So that machine helps you really to get back into the now. Mm -hmm. To be more connected to yourself. To be more conscious of what you're thinking, saying, and doing in the present moment. Yeah. Because most people are always in their head. They don't even realize what they're saying or doing. Mm -hmm. They don't feel anything. So yeah. these two machines that I have really helps you get into the now moment. And get rid... It resets your energy. It mm -hmm. helps you activate more of your DNA. It helps you to like, you know, just be more connected to your intuition. Mm -hmm. and so it's just... Uh, I, I give... I give you a space where you can enter yourself on a very, very deep level yeah. and get to, to see things, why your life is the way it is, why you feel the way you feel. Mm -hmm. And, and these, these yeah. machines will help you, yeah. you know, liberate that from, from you and help you heal and let go. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, powerful stuff. Yeah. Uh, I've done it a few times myself and it's always a very uh, interesting experience getting like visions yeah. and downloads and just feeling the release and... Yeah. It's incredible machines, you know. Mm -hmm. We are all energy, so yeah, might as well want... work with that, eh? <laughs> Amazing. So, anybody wants to try and uh, come to the Temple of the Soul, how can we get uh, in contact for, with my you? My website's gonna be up in the next two weeks. Cool. But for now, I have my Temple of the Soul thirty three Instagram page where you can uh, send me a message and I'll answer you as soon as I can. And Perfect. Make a session. Amazing. I will put that in the show notes. Uh, well, thanks, Ali. That was uh, an amazing conversation. Thank you so much. I love chatting about anything uh, spirituality, and uh, so I could uh, keep going on and on. I do have one more question for you that I ask all of my guests at the end of the episodes. What's your favorite quote and why? What I say almost every day when I get home it's, I am abundant. Mm. I am abundant. I am abundant. I am grateful. Grateful abundance. and abundant. Mm -hmm. these are the two mantras I like to say every day love it but grateful is first and abundance because mm -hmm. if you're not grateful you won't have more abundance <laughs> the universe is like well you, you don't even like what I gave you yeah so why would why I give, give you more, more? <laughs> let me take let me take some away from you so you can be grateful for what you had yeah so grateful gratitude is mm -hmm. number one and abundance amazing well we're going to wish you a lot of abundance and uh, thank, thank you, so you for much. your wisdom you today too. thank you so much for having me on your show thank you J'espère que cette conversation awesome t'a inspiré. Et d'ailleurs, I would love to hear back from you. Rejoins Karmakin sur les réseaux sociaux and tag me in a post pour partager ce que tu retiens de cet épisode. Je serais vraiment grateful aussi si tu pouvais me laisser un rating and review pour le podcast. Ça me permet d'avoir un impact positif sur plus de gens comme toi. Merci beaucoup d'avoir été à l'écoute. And until next time, je te souhaite une journée awesome.